Hi everyone, this is the PLC Fiddle Simple Traffic Light Challenge Solution. And up on my screen here, this is what our challenge looks like. Our traffic light um, timer is actually preset for 20 seconds. And it's counting up and it's self-resetting itself, as we can see here. So our instruction is to create a simple set of traffic lights that are north, south, west, east. There will be a three second overlap on the red lights in either direction and the green light will be on for five seconds and the yellow light will be on for two seconds while the other direction is red and the sequence will then switch and repeat itself over and over again so what we best thing to do is start off with a timing chart and that timing chart if we look up here um, what we'll see is we've created a our second or our timer so here's all my seconds 20 seconds so I went from 0 to 19 and what you'll see is that my red light I have it at 0 then to 2 seconds and then I have it above the 10 seconds it's still red um, so that's my north south red then my then it goes to green so 3 seconds to 8 seconds so there's my 5 seconds and then eight and nine is my yellow and then I have my overlap again my red red for three seconds so meanwhile while my north south is going green and yellow my west east is still red then I go green and then yellow for my west east and then there's the it repeats itself over and over again so that is our timing chart so the first thing we'll do is take a we'll uh, uh, take our outputs here and we'll put them onto our ladder So we're going to have the six outputs representing my north south and west east lights And one more So we'll have north south red then yellow green just like our regular traffic lights and then we'll have our west east red yellow and green so let's handle each light separately now and we'll handle our north south uh, light first of all and what we'll do is put in a branch here and we know it's going to be a branch because we're going to have two sections of going back to our timing chart. So you'll see here we're doing this red light here. So it has to be um, less than or equal to 2. Or it has to be, looks like, greater than 9 in order for that red light to be on. So that's the logic for the red based on our sequencing. So let's look at this and we'll put our compare functions. So we said it has to be less than or equal. So our traffic light less than or equal to our constant, which is going to be 2. So that's handling our top part. And then our bottom part, it's going to be greater than 9. and nine so if we look at our actual traffic light see it's less than two and then once it hits greater than two you see that's now off until it gets greater than nine then it turns back on again so the, the sequencing for our north south red light looks good next we'll do our yellow light for our north south so again, let's look at our timing chart here. And you can see that in our timing chart, in order for it to be on for a yellow, we need it um, greater than seven, but less than or equal to nine. So let's put that logic into our program. So we said it has to be greater than seven and we'll less than or equal to nine. Our accumulator. Greater than 
7 less than or equal to 9. So there's our logic for our north-south uh, yellow. Now let's do our north-south green and then we'll go back to our timing chart and see if uh, this makes sense. So our green is going to be um, greater than 2 and it's going to be less than or equal to 7. So that's my logic here. So go back to our PLC program. So we want greater than 2. And we want less than or equal to 7. less than or equal to 7 and now our green is now complete and you can see the cycling of our our lights so now we have half our lights completed so now what we'll do is go to our west east and then start determining the sequence for it so west east on our red light it looks like it has to be just less than or equal to 12 and we'll have our red light so it's just just this block here so let's put that in less or equal to 12 or constant 12 and that will control our our west east red light now let's look at our yellow and back to our timing chart again it's very important about a timing chart to understand fully so that we don't get confused along the way and on our yellow here it looks like we just have to be greater than 17 and we are good for yellow so Let's look back here. We'll put greater than. We'll stick it right here. 17. And now that is our yellow complete. And the last one we need to do is look at our west east green. And our west east green, what you'll see here is that it has to be greater than 12. And less than or equal to 17 to create this block here. So back to our compare. So we have to be greater than 12. So there's my greater than. And we have to be less than or equal to. So we'll bring that down. And we'll call up our traffic light accumulated value. So we had said greater than 12. And we had to be less than or equal to 17. So that is our traffic light. And what we can do is just watch it here. Or we can watch it here in order to see what's happening my yellow going, then my two reds, then my west east turns green for five seconds, should go back to yellow, then back to the red red overlap, and now we have green on north again starting over for five seconds, then we go back to yellow for two seconds, then red red overlap, then we go back to green for five seconds, then the yellow then back to the red red overlap and the whole system then repeats again and this is all based on our initial timer of our 20 seconds here as it goes through so we're just using a bunch of compare instructions in order to control our north south west east lights now all the links and further challenges can be found on the links below as well as on our website at accautomation.ca 
And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.